Jenner of Waterlink Web, and I am doing a short video to show the St. John's Boosters how to add events to their calendar. So we're already logged into the back end of the website, and we go to this event calendar, my calendar, and we go add new event. And this event is called Card Making with Leslie. And they have an exclamation point on it, so I'll put that. And I've already copied the event content. Now you can see here that this uh, Word document or uh, the email I received this from has some coding in there because this is italics. So I'm going to go check that coding. I go to text from the visual. I go to text editor. And I'm actually going to remove this italic and put it in a regular paragraph. So this is the HTML for a paragraph. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Close the paragraph. That's the close. There we go. So you don't want to have a bunch of other coding coming in from a, you know, a Word document or a Pages document or something. And uh, sometimes it keeps the fonts, etc. You really don't want that in there. So this is a class description. It is now in there. I'm going to add one more thing up here. This is a um, online class, and it's ages 5 to 11 years. OK. So now we need to have the uh, link to register for this class. So I'm going to go here, and I'll write. Link to register. I highlight link to register. And I go up here to insert or edit link. I paste that in. But I'm going to do one more thing before I um, uh, actually publish that. I'm going to say open link and new tab. And that's because it's going to a different website than the one we're on. I didn't, didn't take it. Let's try it one more time. There we go. Link options, open link in new tab, then I click update. There we go. Now we have a link to register on there. And this is not a board meeting. This is a local business event. Now the date. This is going to be on Wednesdays. And it's going to start at 3.30. And run until 4:30 p.m. Get that up again. Okay. And um, this does repeat. They're having it every Wednesday, so I'm going to say we're going to have it repeat three times. It'll happen four in a row then, because three plus the one we already have doing here is four. And we're going to say it repeats every week once every one week. So it'll be once a week. Um, and here we can actually put the URL in that I just put in. And I'm not going to have the link expire. There's no location. Locations are, are geographical places and so it's an online event. No reason to have a location on there. So I think we've done everything we need. We have a local business event. It's going to be the right color for that. Let's hit publish. Give it a chance to publish. Very good. Let's go back to visit the site. And we're going to go to events, calendar, and see how it looks. So scroll down here. Here it is. 3.30 PM, online class, ages 5 to 11. There we go. And link to register. You can see it open in a new tab. And there is the link to register. And let's see what adding that other link did. And there it is. Card making with Leslie is right there. Same thing. And it uh, actually goes just the same uh, on the same browser window. And that repeats one, two. It should repeat two more times in June. Let's check it. And there it is. So it's all done.
And thank you very much for watching this video.